Yo, what is going on everybody? I'm Pass Do, and today I'm going to be showing you different openers for Tarka so you can land more elbows and get your infinites off. Okay, jumping right into this. Most Tarkas, when they lose neutral, they pop their ult and they just double shift and they hope this elbow lands so they can get an infinite. What I want you to do instead, whenever you pop your ult, I want you to do a jump LMB. So you're holding forward and doing a jump LMB. More time. Pop ult, hold forward, jump LMB, double shift. Why this is good is because before you use your double dodge to land the elbow, the air LMB actually gives you momentum because of the melee aim assist. So it kind of closes the distance and you're more likely to catch them if they dodge. For example, right here, if I was in Tarka I double dodge, it doesn't connect. But if I air LMB into a double dodge, like shift punch, it connects. So that's one way to close the distance and catch more people off guard with Tarka. The next thing you could do is after you release a blink strike, you could release the follow up, which can be canceled halfway through the animation like that. So if you're away from somebody, you can fake release and close the distance this way. Obviously, if your elbow lands, you get an infinite. So that's the second one. Uh, something else you can do is when you're in Tarka ult, if you do a air LMB, if you hold dodge forward and do another air LMB, so air LMB, hold dodge forward, air LMB, you can control your momentum in the air. And whenever you get above the target that you want to infinite, you can double shift and melee aim assist will track onto them. This is a really good way to catch people off guard. One more time, you would air LMB, hold dodge forward, air LMB again. And once you're over the target, you would simply double shift to catch the elbow. Melee aim assist will do everything for you. Right. That's something else you could think about. If you're ever in your Tarka ult, and say you're out of stamina, like you just burned all your dodges, but you still have your F, you can use your F to get your stamina back fully. And something you could do off of your F, one more time. You're out of stamina, pop your F before it's over, air LMB, double shift, and that's another good way to catch people off guard. What most people do in their defensive stance, they just they pop F and they double shift. What I want you to start doing really good, after you hit your F, you do an air LMB while holding forward and do a double shift to land the elbow. On to the next thing. If you ever clank with somebody like that and you double shift more often than not you're going to catch them while they're staggered off the clank and you'll get an infinite if you shift into your elbow like that you could actually time it a little bit faster but that was an example that works on light attacks as well if you clank light or blue you can double shift into the elbow Okay, getting into grapple setups for your elbow. What a lot of people do. Actually, not even a lot of people know about this. Since you can cancel anything on Tarka in your ult, when you grapple and you press LMB and you get this animation off your grapple, before you hit them, like right when you're like close in their face, you just simply double shift. Okay, that's what decent Tarkas do. Really good. Really good players will get close, do an air LMB to close the distance, into a double shift. That way, more times than not, even if they dodge, you can manage to catch people off guard. 
Um, something else you probably already know about, but might not use. If you ever land, say, an R&B with Katana on Tarka, you could do the follow-up LMB and faint your blue focus. If they try and dodge it, you parry, and you land the elbow, it's over. Uh, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give out, like, a few quick tips on how to play Tarka. Maybe a little bit more consistently, at least when you have your ult up. I think that's it for this video. Take care, everybody. See you.